Hi, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to be doing a leak off test on these diesel injectors and also coding some injectors as well. Right, we're just going to start the engine. Hopefully, the camera will pick up the, uh, the misfire it's got. Right, I don't think you could really hear it very well. Right, now we're going to do the leak off test. On top of the injectors, you need to remove the plastic pipe or rubber pipe, very small, thin ones, which are on this engine, which is a Renault engine. Which are here, the little black one, and that black one you've got to take off, that one, and that one. Right, we've got four bottles. We've got this uh, pipe, which is one meter length. Got it for about three pounds from my local shop. And here are two injectors that we've had, which we bought off eBay. And you can see the number at the top up there. That's the number you're gonna need when you're gonna code it, which we'll show you how to do that a little bit later, if you've got the right tools. First thing you need to do, is remove the leak off pipe of the diesel pump and blank it off. We're just going to use a bit of pipe with a screw in, or you could bend the pipe over and clamp it. Then you put the four tubes onto the top of the injectors where the black pipes were, like this. This is a Renault engine, so number, number one is on the far right, and number four is here on the left. Okay, make sure the engine is nice and warm before you even do this test. Maybe have it running for about five to 10 minutes before. Okay, when, when we do this test, we have the engine running for about two minutes at 3000 revs. Um, so hopefully we're gonna see a nice even level for, from each of these um, injectors. If one's filling up more than the other one, you know you've got a dodgy injector. As you can see, the second one on the left is filling up quite quick as it goes up the tube, which means that one's most probably going to be a bit of a dodgy one. for two minutes. Got a
Well, as you can see, there's two there which are a lot more diesel than the other two. So we're going to have to change the two injectors. Well, this is a code it. Obviously, we've got the previous vehicles there. We're going to click on that. And it's going to take us into the vehicle it is, which is a Renault Kangoo. You click yes on that. Then it's going to connect with the ECU. You click yes because it's got the correct vehicle there. Click on engine management. Then it's going to tell you all the all these sorts of stuff if you can be bothered to read it. Um, so it's going to connect to the ECU now. And then when it's done that, you need to click on to functional tests. Then special functions, which will bring you into the programming of the injector. Okay, now you click on this and it's going to tell you a bit about the safety stuff so you don't do anything wrong. And when you do that, you select what injector you want to change. You need to be careful to make sure you get the letters correct. Well, we're going to change the injector number three. So you click yes when you're on the injector and then it's going to come up with new ID. So you need to type the number that is on top of the injector into here, making sure you don't get the B's and number eights mixed up or some of the other ones. When you've done that, you click OK, then it would be programmed into the ECU. It's very quick and easy to do if you've got the uh, right diagnostic software. Okay, right, that's all done, the injector's done. We've obviously done the other one as well, but we didn't video it. And we did another leak off test, and they're all even, which we didn't record. But here's the engine ticking over. Yeah, this sounds and runs a lot better now, which is all good. Um, I don't think the camera can really pick up the sound very well. But yeah, thanks for watching.